Malachi, what do you think of um, what kind of environment that you guys will be stepping into here? You know, a top 10 matchup in the country. It's UND and What do you what do you expect on Saturday? Uh, obviously, <clears throat> like they've been saying, obviously it's going to be a hostile environment. It's going to be a big game for both sides, but I'm excited, and I think everybody around here is excited. And kind of just like coaching Caleb Iveco, just we're just keeping the focus on us. We're not really worried about what it's going to be like when we get there, or who's going to be there, or anything like that. We're just kind of keeping the focus on us and what we got to do to prepare and be the best that we can be. How long does it take you into this program to realize that the UND NDSU matchup uh, maybe hits the fan base a little bit different? I don't know how it impacts other areas, but like, when, when do you start realizing that, that this game um, is a big one to a lot of people? I mean, I realized the first time we played them my, when I first got here. So I remember we played them in Alaris my first year here, and I couldn't hear anything. I wasn't even dressing, but I just vividly remember I couldn't hear it, the person next to me. So this, I knew from that moment, from the Hawk Walk, when we got out and seeing all the fans, I knew how important this rivalry kind of was. And, you know, I think everybody on our team kind of knows that. And, you know, while it's important, just taking it and treating it like any other game, because when you make something bigger than it is, that's when you can kind of get mixed up. Um, you know, you guys were able to snap their winning streak last season. Um, but the Fargo Dome hasn't been kind to UND in the Division One era. What would it mean to take that next step in this rivalry and, and be successful in the Fargo Dome in Fargo? Well, last season is last season, so we can't really think about that because then we'll get to being a little happy and thinking, oh, we can just go in there again. So that's not what's going to happen. We're not really thinking about last season. But just going into the Fargo Dome, I think it would be it would be pretty good for us to go in there and show people that, you know, we're a new team. Like Coach said earlier, this is a 2024 team. And so I think it'll be good to show everybody that this is a new team. We have a new identity and that we're not worried about all the outside noise. We're not worried about the ro going on the road. We're not worried about stuff like that. We're just worried about playing ball and worried about doing what we got to do to execute. Have you sensed that? And in what ways maybe have you sensed that, that this is a different team? I sensed it from the beginning. I was talking to guys and, you know, just coaches and the people around here just, it's different. We're all a lot closer. And that's not to say we weren't close last year because we were very close. But just this year, I think it's a different trust level. And I think, you know, when you have to go through change like we did, you get closer and it, it kind of forms a bond that we all are, we're fighting for each other. And we know that we're kind of just, we're all here for each other. And so, yeah, I think a lot of the change we went through kind of brought us closer together and it was really good for us. You talk about taking the next step in the rivalry and winning this game at the Fargo Dome. What would it mean to you and to this team to win this game on the road and win it two years in a row? It would mean, I mean, it would mean a pretty good amount to all of us because, you know, just go get another conference opponent ranked win. It would be pretty good, especially on the road, just to kind of get that out the way and, you know, show people that this is this is a new team. And so, yeah, just we just got to sit here and can't be focused on, oh, it's going to be the number two team in the country or anything like that. We got to be focused on our preparation and how we prepare and just keep focusing on how to do that. Their quarterback, Cam Miller, has been playing lights out football so far this season. Um, you know, how do you guys as a defense slow him down and slow down that Bison offense? Yeah, he's a really good player, so we just got to, you know, keep our rush lanes contained and keep sharp on our assignments, and everybody has to play within the defense. Nobody has to be a superhero or do anything astronomical. Just play within the defense and do what we, do, do what we have studied to prepare for and, you know, execute well. All right. So Malachi, they have a, a stable of running backs that, and one of them, I know Jamar has been breaking a lot of tackles. You know, what have, what are you guys doing on defense to make sure, like, hey, you know, fundamentally sound tackling there? Uh, well, you, like you said, they do have a stable of good running backs. I think it's three of them that they really give the ball to a lot. And I think all of them are pretty good. And so we're going to, you know, we just got to treat this like any other week, focus on tackling, focus on bringing our feet with it, running our feet, wrapping up, and just make sure we're all in on getting these guys to the ground. And so I don't think it'll be anything different preparation-wise this week, but I think as far as getting to getting hammering home the message that we all know it's going to be a physical game. We know that they're going to try to run the ball. And so we just got to be prepared. And I think we will be. And for some of your younger guys on defense, you know, obviously, like you said, you know, not changing in terms of preparation. But when you go up against a team that has a big offensive line, you know, in terms of size, 
you know, what's something that you, you know, tell the younger guys, like, you know, is there tips or, or tricks that you tell them or, you know, how do you guys prepare for something like that? We, well, we play in the Missouri Valley, so every offensive line we go play is pretty big. So it's not going to – I don't think it's really telling the young guys anything about the offensive line. I think the young guys kind of feed off the older guys and they feed off of when they see us and they see us how we prepare and they see us come and watch film. And I think that's really more so what it is. I don't think it's really any technique things. It's just all of us preparing because if we can get the best plan possible, we're, we're going to play as hard as we can. And, those two things are going to be a recipe for success. All right, final question I have for you is, what do you love about playing conference football? Uh, I love it. I love we get back to the run, the downhill. I love that. And, you know, I love everything about the Missouri Valley. I love everything about UND. So it's going to be really good to get out here and get another conference W, hopefully, and, you know, go play a really good ranked opponent. How much does this game mean to you and the team with it being a rivalry game? I know you guys said that you try not to let it get in your head, but does this game just mean a little bit more to you guys? Like Caleb said, we would be silly if we were like, nah, it doesn't mean anything more, but we aren't going about it that, that way. And so we just, you know, go about our business, how we've been going about it for the last four to five weeks. And it's been pretty good and we're not comfortable or complacent and we're really hungry and we're ready to go fight and go get ready to go get in a fight. And obviously, it's a very loud environment. How do you specifically stay focused or locked in in an environment like that? Uh, just keeping, just not focusing on the environment itself. That's really how you would do that. And, you know, we kind of get in the game and you get in your zone, but just focusing on the game plan and my, what my coaches are telling me, what teammates are got going on, and just focus on keeping everybody into the game and keeping everybody on, focused on the common goal, which is winning.